You know him from Mostly Ghostly, Lost, and his new show, Clue. Hey, how are you? I'm great. I'm great. Very good. And we're definitely stoked for Clue to come out. Uh, can you clue us in a little bit about the show, what it's about? Um, well, Clue is loosely based on the classic board game. There's toss backs throughout the show to the original characters, weapons, and uh, places, of course. And it starts out with sort of the classic, somebody's getting beat with a candlestick. But then when we go to investigate that, it goes a heck of a lot more in depth. Mm -hmm. I see. And what character do you play? My character's name is Seamus, uh, a.k.a. Mr. Green. He's kind of like the rebel, bad boy, cool guy of the group. Uh, he also sort of takes the lead a lot of the time and uh, directs the group in the right direction. Oh, very nice. And then how do you like working with the cast? What's a day like for you on the set? Um, the, working on the show and working with the cast is great, and it's so much fun because we're also shooting all on location in Vancouver. Very nice. And uh, were you, uh, as a kid growing up, a big Clue board game fan? I was a big Clue board game fan. I always played with my family. It was fun to get everyone together. And what's hilarious is I always played as Mr. Green. Oh, really? <laughs> That's funny. Did you ever imagine you'd be doing this, like playing a real-life version of the game? No, and what I never imagined is how the direction that they took it, because it's not truly about the game too much more, because it goes so much more in depth. Right, right. And uh, I was laughing because the name Arthur actually comes up a few times because you played Arthur in Kicking It. And um, you're going to be filming Arthur Newman, Golf Pro. Yes. Yes, so tell us how you liked working on Kicking It, first off. Oh, it was so much fun. Everybody there is so sweet and so great. In fact, I still keep in touch with a lot of them. And not just last night, I uh, was hanging out with Olivia Holt at the uh, Metro PCS watch party. Really? Uh-huh. Would you like to go on the show again and... Uh, act on there? Oh, yeah. It would definitely be a lot of fun to go back and do that. Nice, nice. And then you'll have to tell us about your new movie, Arthur Newman, Golf Pro. Um, well, I'm not totally sure how much I can tell you, but I can definitely tell you that my character is definitely kind of a jerky jock. Mm -hmm. I see. And the cast for that sounds pretty amazing with uh, Colin Firth and Emily Blunt. That's exciting. Yes, it's very exciting. I can't wait to go work on that. Uh-huh. And um, with Halloween just passing by, actually, uh, how do you feel being part of Mostly Ghostly, that it's like one of the popular movies on Disney? Um, Mostly Ghostly was such a blast to work on when we were shooting it, and now to see how much people still enjoy it to this day is so much fun and so exciting to see. Um, it was definitely a huge success for Disney um, in their Halloween market, and it's so great to see it still playing every single year. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And then um, what actor or actress would you like to see yourself work with um, in the near future to come? I would love to work with Leonardo DiCaprio. That guy is a beast. That mm -hmm. guy's awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. Absolutely. Have you met him before? I have never met him, but I've read so much about him and read so many interviews and watched all of his movies. I, I, he's amazing. Yeah, that would be so neat to work with him. I hope that happens. <laughs> Yes, fingers crossed. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And then you filmed um, Lost in Hawaii. How did you like working um, on that? Uh, Lost was amazing. Lost was such a fun experience, and it really gave me, like I said, it really gave me experience in, in areas that I hadn't, hadn't had before. Right, and it's definitely not more so work. It's more fun and a perfect experience oh, yeah, to visit. Oh, yeah, definitely more fun than anything else. Mm-hmm. And um, you also do a little bit about music. Can you tell us how you got started doing that? Well, what a lot of people don't really know is that I've actually been doing music longer than I've been doing anything else. Mm -hmm. um, it's so much fun, and I just enjoy writing new stuff and doing new things. It's a lot of fun. What does Step Back to Reality, what is that, how did that come about? Uh, Step Back to Reality is one of my older albums. That just came about just... Just messing around with the guitar and thinking about uh, what it's like, you know, when I'm not doing acting and stuff. So I just was like, I got to step back to reality because it's such a dream to be able to do that. Oh, that's a great title. Love that. And uh, now we have a question for you. Since the show Clue is loosely based on the board game, we have a good question for you. Um, if you could pick one of these games if they were real, which one would you choose? Would you pick Candyland with real candy? Monopoly with real money or Hungry Hungry Hippos with real hippos? 
Okay, definitely Monopoly with real money. <laughs> yeah. How cool would that be, though, right? It would be amazing. Uh -huh. Absolutely. I I'd take any of them. I don't know about the hippos one. That one would be kind of interesting, but yeah. Very interesting, but uh, definitely uh, Monopoly with real money. Monopoly. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> and uh, tell us, what do you like to do in your spare time when you're not acting? I love to play hockey. I play tons and tons and tons of hockey. I really enjoy it. Oh, that's cool. Interesting fact. And uh, how about your Twitter, which is at Sterling Bow? Can you tell us about that? How do you like using it? Uh, I like to use it to communicate with fans. I retweet a lot and reply. Unfortunately, I don't follow fans, but uh, I know I get a lot of requests too. But I definitely read all my mentions, so mention me, and I answer a lot of questions there as well. Mm -hmm. And my goal is to hit 10,000 by the time Clue airs. Oh, that would be great. Yes. And uh, do you have a favorite tweet that someone's tweeted you or that you've tweeted? Uh, my favorite tweets are, you know, when I just see friends that are tweeting back to me. I think that's fun. It's always fun to communicate with other celebrity friends over Twitter. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And then uh, how about also your YouTube channel? You have some pretty cool videos on there. Uh, yeah, my most recent YouTube video was um, I uh, was fortunate enough to catch the clue billboard, one of the Clue billboards going up in uh, in L.A. So I uh, was like, it's going up. Oh, my gosh, i got to go down there. And I took a camera down there, and I filmed it. It was a lot of fun. I saw that. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, it was exciting. It was fun. Definitely neat. And then I have to tell you, when I first heard that Clue was coming out on the Hub, um, I just think that's such a, a cool concept for that show. So. Yes, it's definitely it, it definitely takes it in a very cool and fun direction. Absolutely, looking forward to that. And then, is there anything else you want to tell your fans out there? And then, any other future projects as well coming out? Um, just uh, keep watching Clue. Uh, comes out November fourteenth. That's pretty much all I can think of. <laughs>